How's it going, everyone? We are just a couple of weeks away from, let's just say, JRPG fans are gonna be eaten well for a while. Now, you can make the argument that it really kicks off next Friday with the release of Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. Whether or not you want to say that game is a JRPG when you think about JRPGs, I don't know. It's absolutely an RPG developed in Japan, so... In that standpoint, it's a JRPG, but as far as, like, you know, the anime-centric JRPGs that I think are more akin to the term JRPG, the week after is what has a lot of people excited with the release of two games back-to-back, -back, and it is a little bit of a daunting undertaking if you're gonna be picking up both, but that's really what I want to talk about in this video. Grand Blue Fantasy Relink or Persona 3 Reload. First of all, which game are you going to be picking up and which game are you more excited for? Now, before we get into this video, I just want to ask you guys, please like this video and do leave a comment with your thoughts. It really does help out the channel a lot and it is much appreciated. Now, this isn't to put either game down. Look, I think we should celebrate the release of both games and celebrate the fact that in the year of 2024, more than ever, JRPGs are prominent over here stateside. If you go back a decade, decade and a half ago, can you guys remember the time when we wouldn't even get all of the Tales of games regularly coming out stateside, or we would get delayed releases on them? Final Fantasy of all franchises would have a delayed release. Go back to the release of Final Fantasy 13. It came out six months, I believe, after the release in Japan. Now you're getting simultaneous releases releases over here in the West. Lesser known franchises are getting major releases in the West. You've got, you know, Grand Blue now making a name in the West. Persona has made its name over here in the West. You've got franchises like Legend of Heroes, Ease, and so on and so forth. So it is a time to absolutely celebrate the releases of these two games and the releases for all of 2024 because we're going to get big JRPG after big JRPG. But the fact still remains the fact that we have the release of both Grand Blue Fantasy Relink and Persona 3 Reload in the same week. I do honestly believe that this is one instance where it is going to hurt the commercial success of both games because look i'm a sucker a lot of you guys love your jrpgs and you're gonna pick up both of these games but for a lot of people i can absolutely see hey both of these are gonna be sizable games grand blue fantasy sure they said the main story is gonna be 20 to 25 hours but if you're looking for a completionist run or if you're looking to just do a lot of the side content that number is gonna blow up to 40 to 50 hours easily they even said as much as 100 for a completionist run so we'll see how it ultimately turns out persona we already know what to expect out of that in terms of the longevity of that game persona games you're not going in and I'm expecting a 30 hour JRPG. No, you're gonna sink 50, 60, 70, 80, 100 plus hours in those games easily. And then if you're talking about doing multiple playthroughs, yeah, that's a whole other can of worms. So I really do expect that this is gonna be one of those weeks that a lot of people are gonna be picking and choosing. And there's gonna be one game that they're more excited for over the other. Now, I think majority of people are excited for both games and they will ultimately check out both games, maybe pick up one now and one down the line later in the year, maybe when it's on sale, etc. But it is going to be interesting to see which game people gravitate towards more. Now, it is also interesting because Persona is without a doubt the franchise that has more cachet. It is the one that has more name value appeal and you are getting a remake of an absolutely beloved game in Persona 3. But because of that fact, because of that fact that this is a remake, this is a franchise that is very well known, and it's a game that, to be fair, I've already played. I played it a lot on the PlayStation 2. I played Persona 3 Portable. I generally know what to expect with Persona 3 Reload. That's why for me, while I'll be checking out both games, which game am I more excited for? It's Grand Blue Fantasy Reeling, because to me personally, I want a new and fresh experience, and I'm kind of interested in the unknown. Also, with Grand Blue Fantasy, you can look up Grand Blue Fantasy on this channel 
We've been covering this game for like seven years. Seven legitimate years when this game initially was being developed by Platinum Games and then, you know, side games took over development, the world went to hell. I've been following Grand Blue and had my eye on it for a long time. And now the fact is the game is finally coming out. I am personally more excited for Grand Blue Fantasy Relink because um, the idea of it being a little bit of an unknown. I don't know what to expect out of the game. I know that Persona 3 Reload is going to be absolutely awesome and it is a full-on remake at the end of the day if I had to take a shot in the dark which game is gonna have the Metacritic score or the higher Metacritic score excuse me I would absolutely throw the dart on the board for Persona 3 Reload like that's an easy assessment to make and an easy prediction to make I fully expect Persona 3 Reload to be at an 88 to a 95 on Metacritic like that's not that hot of a take I think most of you guys expect that and I don't expect Grand Blue Fantasy Reeling to be at that high of a score but honestly that's almost the element of it that appeals to me more because there is this level of unknown and we don't know how good this game is gonna be and if it is very good it could be the game that takes Grand Blue to the next level there's actually a lot of stakes attached to the release of Grand Blue Fantasy Reeling you might think I'm overstating that fact but but again, it's the first major JRPG for this franchise over here stateside. It's been in development for how many long years? How many years have you guys been following this game? And I saw somebody in the comment section saying that we've been following this game since you've been covering it back in like 2017. 2017, guys! Think about how many years have gone by where people have been following this game. And Persona is a franchise that is gonna be here for the long term. Like, Persona has made its impact over here in the West, and it's one of the biggest JRPG franchises. Grand Blue, I wouldn't say, is that over here in the West. Sure, it made a little bit of noise with Grand Blue Fantasy versus and whatnot, but Relink for the JRPG. RPG fans is really the first foray a lot of us are gonna have with it. And you're also adding in the four-player cooperative play. Um, it's a lot of reason to be excited from my vantage point. This is my personal opinion. And Persona 3 Reload is gonna be awesome. And Grand Blue Fantasy Relink, if you do buy it digitally, you get it January 29th. So you get a couple days of reprieve to be like, hey, I can sink in as many hours I can with Grand Blue Fantasy Relink. And then, uh, you know, if you want to play both of them concurrently, Persona 3 Reload is out February 2nd. You might get... I don't know, if you really know life in 30, 35 hours, if you really, really, like, go crazy with Grand Blue Fantasy, I don't know, most of you guys have jobs, you guys have school, you guys have, I don't know, kids, family, friendships, relationships, etc, etc, putting 35 hours into a game, even if it's a hotly anticipated JRPG in the span of, like, 3-4 days, probably isn't the greatest idea, but, uh, you know, it'll be fun juggling the two games. It's a fun debate to have when you look at a week that I honestly... When can you say that you've seen this in gaming before? Maybe there was a week where, like, there were two major JRPG releases with, like, a Pokemon game and something like that. But I cannot recall in one single week you had the release of two hotly anticipated JRPGs like this, like a Persona 3 Reload, that's huge, and Grand Blue Fantasy Relink, a game that people have been looking forward to for so long, in the same week. Look back in gaming and like I obviously I don't have gaming releases remembered by a week-to-week -week basis But something like this would absolutely stick out to me and I've been on YouTube for a while now covering new releases and covering JRPGs, but I cannot remember the last time we had a week where you had two you know, to be frank, colossally big JRPGs releasing in the same time period. And not only that, like, later in the month, you have Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. And then, if you want to throw in, like, a Dragon Infinite Wealth, we have that the week before. Like, if you are a fan of Japanese RPGs, guys, you are living so well in 2024. It is going to be one of the greatest years for JRPG fans literally ever. And as somebody that's been playing games in this genre for years and years and years, and there's been times where, sure, Final Fantasy would be huge, but Persona for a long time wasn't a major franchise over here stateside. Um, you had other franchises like Tales of getting delayed releases, and now you're just getting bombarded with JRPGs. It's a great problem to have, and yes, I am comparing the two and asking you guys which game you're more excited for, but at the end of the day, it's a time to celebrate the fact that we are getting so many high-quality Japanese RPGs, and it's a great problem to have. Like, I talk about the fact that there's so many games coming out, but let's be real. Like, first world problem, great problem to have, a lot of great JRPGs. RPGs. For me, Grand Blue Fantasy Relink is the game I'm more excited for. Persona 3 Reload will absolutely be getting played as well. And I'm sure for some people, uh, you are more excited for P3R. But let me know all of your thoughts in the comments section down below. Sound off there. But again, a great time to be a JRPG fan and drop all your thoughts down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye. 
Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.